this bedding area where we jumped out law a couple weeks ago. And then we're gonna go across the road, I think. There were some tracks going right past the truck, but um, I like this spot because it's, it's uh, thicker instead of more hardwoods up there. So we're gonna run this quick, see if we can jump something and then jump back across the road. We got another one. Toe dragon. Toe dragon. Pretty good spread. Still frozen, but maybe we can run it. There's roughly two and a half hours that I want to run. Let's go. be what this is. There's tracks everywhere. If I can't get lucky and see a point on the ground, that'd be awesome. There's a track there. Believe it or not, <clears throat> I do work. I've got night shift tonight, so um, it's closer to 10 o'clock now. I am uh, pretty chilly, so we're going to save that spot for another time. Check the weather, see if we get any snow this week. If we're getting snow, we'll, uh, we'll either go farther north, like we did for Max, or we'll go up onto that ridge again, see if we can cut something or jump something up off it. Hell of a ridge. Really pretty thick with a lot of um, dropped beach. But it's uh it's gonna be a good one I think. So I gotta walk a little ways, get back to the truck. anyway <clears throat> so maybe we get lucky and jump something so 
how much like it may be, but... Walking out. <clears throat> it is bedtime. It's almost 10. Whew. We're uh, driving down the main drag, and there's a track running right the side of the road. It ran the side of the road, it came down to this cut, and it went out into the cut. So, <clears throat> it's kind of sprinkling a little bit, it's kind of gross. We're gonna do it for as long as we can, and if we get cold, if we're getting hypothermic, we're getting out. I've got a compass, got my phone fully charged, we are jumping in there. This is a last ditch effort. Doesn't look like a giant buck. Down there it did, but here it kind of shrunk a little bit. Um, we're gonna suit up, jump in there. Doubling up on the uh, almond Snickers. Max and I housed one before we smoked a monster. So, not that I'm superstitious, but today we are. Let's go kill a giant. We're a long ways behind, but we can do it. We're just gonna have to run for a while. Buck just crossed the road. I mean, he's pacing pretty well, but <clears throat> it is about 2:45. So what I'm going to do? There's a triangle of roads that meets out there, and if I can't have good sign of I'm getting closer by like 3, 3:30, I've got to dip and start walking back to the truck. Here we go. It's not even ice yet. It's 322. The tracks come to a point and they just spin around. I gotta get out of here. It sucks to leave them like that. Maybe I get lucky and I see one in the road. So we got a fair amount of walk back. I bet we're close to, close to if not over four miles. We gotta pick the best bet to get out of this road. Closest to the truck at least, or maybe most traffic. But we're walking out. Is the last day of the northern zone muzzleloader. We're uh, jumping into the cut that Marina shot at the four pointer. We're not gonna be at the rock though. We have a friend sitting out at the rock instead of us. We're gonna walk in and sit kind of parallel to them 
on the power line and see if anything walks out on the power line, I believe. Well, All right, so we're jumping back into the woods. You get we'll lock up the truck. Um, on the way in here, we saw the two guys from 207 Pursuit. Big shout out to them. Down in the description is going to be a link to their channel. Go subscribe. Pretty sweet spot. We cut a uh, buck track back there. It seemed old, but maybe, just maybe, they circled and they were on top or they're on the other side. So that's what we're going to do. Really nice cut. The right age for moose, that's for sure. And it's not really chewed up that bad. So they could be in here this winter. I saw two uh, winter rubs already. Cedar spot down here. Well, we are walking back to the truck. That's pretty much the end of the uh, 2021 main deer season for me. Unless I magically get back from Vermont early and can go to a southern district to do expanded archery or a uh, one of my bonus tags. Dunzo, <laughs> or if we see one on the way out, but I uh, thought about it a lot and last year I tagged out on the 7th of November and the rest of my November sucked. I tried to duck hunt, really didn't know what I was doing, but this year I exhausted efforts enough to grab the muzzle loader, head out, and I, uh, I'd almost trade this season for last rather not filled my tag last year almost I mean the meat's great harvest did a good buck but the hunt the hunt is why we're out here the hunt is why we enjoy it so try and make the most of it and I'm gonna try like hell to keep rolling into uh, next week in Vermont make that count stick with it we'll be there for a while